Welcome back to a new video. We're out here today doing whatever. I have nothing planned. I just got done shooting a video about screen printing and today is Monday and I gotta go edit some footage. You're probably watching this on Friday. But we're here with a nervous wreck. Hello. How nervous are you? He's pretty nervous. Anxious. You stink. Oh, that was gross. What I tell you from the culture! Yo, sit. Sit. Sit down. He's confused, because I usually walk him with my left hand, but you're in my left hand, and so I have to walk him with my right hand. I don't know who that was, but he just waved at me. Well, welcome to Washington, where it starts raining. Can't do that much when it rains outside, except for take the alien dog for a walk. He's very very alien like sometimes it sleeps like a human being like on his back like that hello you have to poop no but I guess he just has to pee again so we usually walk him to the stop sign and then turn around because there's a crazy big dog over there and another dog over there and he's a small little baby dog that thinks he's really tough he has a small dog syndrome you got yo see my my main response to get, or I don't know it's a response, but it's something to get people's attention is a hey, fool or yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Or fool. Come on, fool. Those are the two things that a hey, and he responds to it too. He's starting to respond to a hey, yo. Hey, yo. Come on. So I live on the outskirts of Tacoma. I'm not going to tell you where at. But, you know, Tacoma, that's where I'm from. I just live out here. I mostly hang out in Tacoma. I don't really go straight to on, on, the, on the highway out here. I usually make a, a left and go to Tacoma because I live about maybe 10 minutes away from downtown. So that's why you always see like skate, foot, skate videos or the skateboarding videos that I make. I don't know, we're just gonna call it vlogs. So that's basically what I'm doing um, with the skateboarding and talking about it. It's mostly downtown these couple of days because I live 10 minutes away from downtown Tacoma. and That's where I like to go skate. I'm more of a street skater, street rat, than a skate park skater. Skate parks, yeah, they're cool and they're fun. You learn your tricks there. You get good at it. But other than that, you should just, you know. I grew up skateboarding in the streets. So when I was younger, we set up, my, my homie was a good builder. He built all the skate ramps and like skate boxes and the skate ledge. And then I, we, I took a class in welding and I built some skate rails. And we basically set up a skate park in front of our house on the street. Never went to a skate park really, unless when 56 opened up and 56 is a skate park around here. I don't know the real name for it. They have a real name for these skate parks, but like, if you know what I'm talking about when I say we're gonna go to 56 or we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to 56, we're going to the skate park. When that opened up, we started going there, but like, we mostly just skated out in front of our house. I filmed a lot of things. He doesn't wanna go back that way, but we're gonna take him on the loop. We call it the loop, give him, get him tired I should give him two melatonin and just follow him around with the camera that'd be hilarious so what I was talking about was I'm more of a street skater than a skate park skater because that's what I grew up skating you know boxes rails you know or finding street spots see when I was when I was a kid I mostly just skated out in front of my house anyway with that stuff I never really went anywhere because I didn't get a car until I was like 18. I didn't get my license until I was 18, so I skated everywhere. And I went, when I was in high school, 
like during the weekends and stuff, I would, because my cousin skated, I would go spend the night at their house, and I had the VX at the time, and we would go shoot or film skating and do all these things, and then I would come back, because my, I got into hip hop a while back, but then my cousin that taught me how to make beats and stuff because I rap too and I make beats you should know this by now but I'm just letting you know that's what I do he put me on to a lot of different music and then I think I found Gangstar if you know who Gangstar is he showed me who Gangstar was and I was really hyped on Gangstar because it was in was it in Fulfill the Dream or was it in Guilty Steve Olsen Park let me know I forget what it was but I saw that I think it was Fulfill the Dream uh, Steve Wilson skated the uh, Gangstar song and then I believe my cousin had the Gangstar CD and then at the time I had the really old iPod and then I downloaded I think I did I took his CD and I imported it onto my computer and I downloaded it onto my iPod and I would listen to Gangstar every day so my older cousin he was adopted I don't even know what you call him I used to call him my cousin um, I found a Wu-Tang not a Wu-Tang, but I found a Method Man CD in his room. It was about, you know, 6th grade. Like I, would, I think it was like 6th grade or 7th grade. I found Method Man. I turned myself on the Method Man, and I found the Wu-Tang Clan. So Method Man turned me on the Wu-Tang Clan. But I found more Gangstar music, and that's why I liked Gangstar at the time. And I had these humongous, big, humongous headphones. And they were really big. They were Sony's. They were really good. So I used to listen to it really loud. And you know, like Wu-Tang, I had my hair braided. Cause Method Man, we can take him for a half a mile walk to the end of the end of the stop sign and back here is about half a mile. <sighs> Doesn't seem like it, but that's what it is. And I'm trying to tire him out. I'm not gonna name names, but he was saying that the only reason why I listened to Gangstar and dressed like that was because I used to go skate with my cousin every weekend and that's what he was into. Yeah, me and my cousin, cousins because I have two cousins and they're brothers and we all used to skate and film and do all this stuff and then Seth if you don't know who Seth is he owns all aboard skate shop but I've known Seth my whole entire life and I don't think some people know that I've known Seth my whole entire life backstory on Seth I met Seth skating with my cousins my cousins and my family helped Seth out at one point and, and then he used to sell skate stuff out of his car and then he opened up the all aboard skate shop. Used to go skate with my cousins every weekend, go film, find all this new music that I found at my cousins and I turned, this music turned me on, not sexually, but this music, I turned on to this music and I, then I was downloading it into my iPod and listening to it more and more and more and the more I listened to it, I got into hip hop. I've always been into hip hop, but I was getting more into hip hop. And here's the point of this story. He, like I said, he told me that the only reason why I dressed like that and did all this stuff is because of my cousins. No, it's because I was influenced by hip hop and like old alien workshop videos and all that stuff and the old DC videos or video like baggy pants style, you know big tall T wearing that's what I was into in high school nobody knew that I still skated in high school but after school and before school we used to go skate at the same time my cousin was making clothes like hand painting clothes and doing all this ill stuff with clothes and, and sewing graphics onto his own clothes so we used to trade back and forth because I used to be at their house every weekend when we were standing at the bus station waiting for the bus um, or not the bus station, the bus stop, because it was a school bus. He told me that, the, like I said, the only reason why I did all this stuff was because of my cousin. No, it was because of the music. Two friends named the same name. Oh, you want to go skate during the weekend? Cool. I finally got a car when I turned 18, so I was the ride. So I went and picked up my cousin, and then I went and got my two friends that skated. And then we went to go skate S. Sorry for the noise, it's my washer. And then we went to go skate the spot downtown Tacoma called the S Ledges. And I don't remember at that point if they had the manual pad 
ledge on the thing they might have I don't remember I don't think so not this yet but they finally took the skate stoppers off and we could skate it because it was been a skate spot for a very long time and they capped it but then some skaters I don't know who did but they went down there to the city council and we got the skate stoppers taken off so we could go skate it I film my cousins all the time skating so we were filming and my cousin at that moment was really good at skateboarding switch and regular stands so he was goofy footed we were all goofy I think we were all goofy footed and we skated and he was really good at skating both ways goofy footed and skateboarding switch and if you're new to skateboarding switch stance is taking your foot that you don't normally skate in the back and you use that foot instead of your your so if you're goofy footed you'd be skating regular and if you're that would be switch and then if you're regular and you're going to skate switch you'd be skating goofy footed so we were down there and what did he do i think this was the line he did fakie crooked grind the s ledge pop out skate skate switch back tail the ledge bam really good it's that's a good ass line fakie crooked grind then land and switch back tail that's ill that's the illest like ill line so when my cousin did that line we filmed it yeah we filmed it because it was in the video then he was trying nollie crooked grind and then come out and then tail side the fakie and then after all these lines my homies that i used to skate with during the week not the ones that lived down the street from me that were ill friends because those friends that lived down the street from me at that time we skated all all day together during the week and this was the weekend and they wanted to come skate with us these were the kids from school that i used to skate with that i met in school that skated so long story whatever we're filming it cousin came did those tricks we filmed those tricks vx death lens in your face sick it was that era it was early 2000s early 2000s it was like 2003 2004 we're in that time period where the vx is the best camera to have after my cousin did those lines my friends from school sat down at that point i was thinking i don't know if they were jealous or amazed by the way that he was skating or just didn't feel like they could be up to his level at skateboarding I, I want to know these things, these are the questions that I have that I have not had the answers to. By that time, we skated the S ledges, and then we went to, at the high school that I went to was called Lincoln High School, and they had this like step up ledge thing that was pretty sick. And then, at, oh, I'm getting ink everywhere from my sweatshirt. I drove, we drove there, because I had the car. We drove there. And then my cousin on the step up ledge because it was like it was a tall ledge it was like a short ledge up to a big ledge that's why it's called a step up ledge so he did a back regular back tail on the step up ledge and then he was trying to also do we were at that time nollie and switch was the ill thing to do and i think he was trying to do nollie nose grind pop out i could be wrong i know he did switch back to no, not switch but he did back tail on it then i think he was trying to do a uh, nollie nose grind or another nollie crooked grind. I could be, I don't know. All I know is that he landed the back tail, but he didn't get close to, I think it was nollie nose grind on the ledge. But again, in my opinion, I like skateboarding with people that are 10 times better than me because it makes me go harder on the tricks that I know how to do. And they sat down, they did, did nothing. I, I need the answer to this question of why they wanted to come skate, but for 95% of the time, they sat down and did nothing. So, if you know anybody, I went and changed my clothes because I told you that I had ink all over the other ones, but here's the moral to whatever I'm doing right here. We need to know the answers to these questions. And if you have anybody, I don't even know why these fingernail clippers are right here, that's weird. But we need to know if this has ever happened to you at any shape or form of anything like it doesn't matter if it's skateboarding or if you ride bikes or whatever you do 
but is there people that said they wanted to you know come hang out with you with your other group of friends and then act like shy when everybody got together so hit the link down below support the movement get some new clothes at the new website and we're out here every Monday Wednesday and Friday and till then we're out here those days Mr. on the high level. Keep it casual. Mr. on the high level.